Okay, peeps, welcome back. So today we're going to go over four Bitcoin miner stocks that are a buy right now and are at macro support. Let's get it. So before I show you guys the charts, well, you can already see the charts here, but we're going to go into the portfolio on Robinhood, show you guys our um, basically our BTBT BT positions. If we can actually get it to pop up here, I'm not really sure why this thing's not moving. But uh, anyways, so um, as you guys can see, BTBT BT down a little bit on the day. It's kind of to be expected. We'll get into that in the charts here in a minute. But we have added a little bit more today, as you guys can see. Um, okay, for some reason, it's not showing here. So, oh, right. Yeah, sorry. We have not added to BTBT. BT. My bad. We added to Cypher, not BTBT. BT. Uh, I'm getting a little confused here. Anyways, um, so you guys can see we currently have 143 shares and an average of 350. We may or may not be buying more. Uh, this is a pretty good starting point for us. We have not added any to BTBT, BT, so I apologize about that. We have like a zillion different positions, so it's kind of hard to keep track of sometimes. Uh, Cypher had a massive sell-off today, so today may actually be a perfect opportunity to buy the dip. Uh, and we do plan on buying in the morning, but as you guys can see, we currently have 130 shares at 337. So we're about a dollar per share down, but keep in mind the Bitcoin having is just right around the corner. So uh, we did buy some, as you guys can see here, we've been buying Cypher specifically uh, pretty much all week. Let's go up to the transactions here real quick. So yeah, you can you guys can see that from the start of the calendar week or the trading week, I should say, uh, the 22nd, we've been buying. So we bought on the 19th, 17th, 19th, 22nd, 22nd again, uh, 23rd, and six hours ago, basically at the market open of today's trading session. So as you guys can see, the price is staying pretty close to that 250 range. So we are actually buying these. But if we go into the BTBT BT chart, you guys can see that we had this red candle close last week below the EMAs. We told you about the shooting star a while ago. We basically said, okay, if this plays out like we think it's going to, it's going to sell off from this resistance zone and just dump on down. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, we didn't really think it was going to be this far. Uh, we kind of thought that it would bounce at the EMAs, but sometimes this, that happens. You just, not every trade is going to play out perfectly. It's all based on probabilities. So, um, you know, if our average is three fifty a share and it goes back up to five dollars and thirty cents, you know, a dollar eighty profit per share, are we going to be mad about that? No. Um, so, anyways, with that being said, uh, the macro support is still at one fifty seven to about two dollars a share, and we are currently at two fifty or sorry, not two fifty, um, two forty seven a share. So you can see we got rejected off the red EMA here. That's a bearish sign. Does it mean it's going to go lower? Not necessarily. So if you got in now and you held to the bottom of this resistance zone, you'd get about a 67% return. So if you had a thousand bucks invested, we're just taking a hypothetical number here, a thousand bucks, you get roughly about $670 on your money. If you held to the top of this resistance, roughly about 93%. And if you sold at the wick high up here, if you just happen to be able to sell at that time, you get roughly about 113% returns. So that is um, more than a 2X on your money. So now we're gonna go over to Cypher. This is the other one. Uh, this is the one that I told you guys about, as you can see here on the right, is down almost 17% today. So we had this basically textbook perfect shooting star candle here. Uh, it only would have been more perfect if it was a red candle and closed down here, but it was close enough. So similar to BTBT, just sold straight off. Um, this is one of the ones that's sitting perfectly at support, okay? So you have the death cross on the RSI and the MACD, but we're still in bull territory on those indicators. Uh, and we do also have earnings coming up. Uh, if we happen to get around to it at that time, we'll make a quick text about that or a quick uh, X comment about that on X. If you guys are not following on X, I suggest you do so. Um, so that way you can get quick updates if you need them. But anyways, we're at macro support, so we are below the red EMA and below all these EMAs. The EMAs are curling down. That's generally bearish. It could head down to this next support box. We'll just have to wait and see. But if I was getting into this trade fresh, I would be buying, uh, uh, 
not a lot, but at least a little bit here, I would start DCA and in because it could just kind of bounce around in the zone for a while. Um, and again, I say that because you guys can see that this thing was support turned resistance for almost basically from back here, it was support and then it became resistance here, as you guys can see, roughly about May of 2022 and was resistance for over a full year. Uh, during that time frame. So the likelihood this is going to break below the support, I would say is pretty slim if you ask me, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. So doing the measurement on this. So if we take from the current price to the resistance zone, you're going to get anywhere from 120% to 135%. That's pretty large. That's well over a two X either way you choose to measure it. And from the current price now, uh, to the wick high here, you would get roughly about 145%. So you're looking at almost a two and a half X on your money. If you basically went all in now and it went back up to this wick high, I'm not suggesting to do that. I'm just saying, if that's what you wanted to do, um, that's roughly what you would get, but do understand if this thing drops, uh, it could drop pretty substantially. You could be looking at 45 to 78% downside. That's the reason why I said if I was going to get in now, I would just DCA um, instead of putting all of my money in. So HUD 8 is another major one that's in macro support. As you guys can see here, we do a quick zoom out. You can see this has been macro support for a long time, basically running about a year and a half now. Um, so this is this is a pretty major support level. The um, bear market low is actually not much lower than where we're at right now. It's roughly about $2 a share or so lower. So... Uh, pretty similar to the price that we got in compared to the low on LTCN. But you guys can see that the um, all of the EMAs here have crossed, or the, the two smaller ones have crossed bearish here. Uh, the red one is still obviously not doing much. Um, and the MACD has also had a death cross. It's a little difficult to see there with the histogram, but uh, you guys might be able to see it now. So... Um, We'll just do a quick measurement, uh, I would say. So from where it is now to the top up here, or the, I should say the start of the resistance zone, about 178%. So basically, if you put 1000 bucks in, you would get roughly about $1,700 in profit. Uh, that's the rough estimate. If you put 1000 bucks in and you sold up here, you'd get roughly about 2600 So uh, your peak profit potential is as much as 270%. This is one of those particular situations where I would say I would put at least half of what I was going to put in here um, initially. So if I was going to put in a grand, I would put in 500 immediately. That's just me. You guys can do what you want. Um, it's completely up to you. Uh, I would say this thing is probably just about at its bottom, if you ask me. So moving on to Riot. Riot is another major one that's in macro support. You guys can see that this was resistance back in August 2022. So it's been over a year since this thing was flipped from uh, or basically went from resistance into support. Uh, we're back in that macro support level. You guys can see the last time that we entered into this zone, the move was huge to the upside. And this is a larger Bitcoin miner stock. It's not a small cap like the uh, BTPT and Cypher. So that move was 118%. So uh, we're, again, we're below the EMAs. EMAs are crossing down or what's known as a death cross. So we have what looks like a triple death cross going on here. Uh, it means that we could go a little bit lower, but I don't personally, I don't think it's going to go below 860 a share, but I don't know. Um, if it was me and I was to do this trade, just my opinion, I would probably put, I'd say maybe 25% of my money in at this zone, uh, currently where it is right now at the current price. And then I would put another 25% in down here and I would just DCA in if it went lower. And, uh, if it did not, well, you know, you can always add more if you want to. So doing the measurements here, uh, from the current price, if you were to buy now, you would get about 87% returns. So for a thousand bucks invested, roughly about a $870 profit and all the way back to the previous peak, roughly about 108% or about $1,080 in profit. Uh, Mara is the biggest of all the Bitcoin miner stocks. As you guys can see here, we did have a death cross on the RSI. MACD is getting ready to have one. Still sitting on the EMAs. Um, me personally, I would not be buying Mar right now. 
uh, if I was going to buy anything, it would probably be HUD 8, BT, BT, and Cypher. Uh, maybe a little bit of Riot, but I would not buy Mara right now. Main reason being is because uh, just looking at the charts, I mean, this thing went straight up to resistance, this new resistance zone here. And this resistance zone was hold, supposed to hold as support, but it did not. So for me, that is a red flag. We got this red close down below here. If it had held as support, I would say, okay, it's good to go back up, but it did not. So what I think is going to happen is it'll probably bottom somewhere between the bottom of the support at 774 to maybe this red EMA at 1340. Um, Again, is that a guarantee? No, nothing's a guarantee in trading and investing, but that's just my opinion. And as you can see, we're getting rejected off of the yellow EMA, EMA here already uh, in the middle of the trading week. So I would wait to get in probably roughly around this box if it was me. So if you got in from the red EMA back to resistance, you're taking a look at roughly about 115% to all the way as high as at the wick high roughly about 130 percent but if you waited to get back in let's say just around the middle of this support box here um, anywhere from roughly about 187 percent up to as much as a 215 percent gain which is more than a 2x so uh, the last one we're going to take a look at as an added bonus is coinbase so coinbase still looking kind of mixed i would say not bullish but not bearish uh, MACD is getting ready to cross down. That's that's definitely bearish. Uh, RSI already had a death cross. We're still sitting on the EMAs, but as you can see, very similar to Mara, we are selling off, at least right now, from the EMA. That's what's known as a rejection. So that wick rejection tells me we could go lower. Um, I'm going to say what I said before. I probably would not buy any Coinbase if it was me, unless it got into this box. So the box is between 105 to roughly about 114 a share. If you manage to get in, let's just say halfway in between this box. So we'll say about $110. Uh, you sold at resistance, that's about a 60% gain and you sold at the wick top roughly about 72%. So the four Bitcoin miner stocks, we'll just recap this real quick, that are at major support zones right now is right which is the biggest one. We'll just zoom out so you can see it. Okay. Resistance, support, support. And then you have HUD 8. This is another one. So you got support, 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 support here. BTBT BT and Cypher, which we personally own. So BTBT, BT, resistance, 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 support, support all along here. And we're getting close to that support. And um, Cypher, which is the other one. So Cypher is in major support right now. So resistance, support, or sorry, uh, support, resistance, resistance, support right in here and back down at support. So anyways, this is the four Bitcoin miner stocks that are at major buy zones. Whether you guys choose to buy or not, that's completely up to you. We are buying. So hope you all enjoyed this content. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you all later. Peace.